my YouTube channel. I'm here with Sandy Anderson of Anderson Art Dolls, and you have seen her gorgeous doll on my channel before. She came to MDCC this year, and I'm very honored to have you here talking with me in the interview. Thank you. So, guys. my first question for you is the first question I like to ask everybody: What was your favorite doll when you were a kid? Uh, absolutely, Barbie. Really? I absolutely loved Barbie. Um, I would collect every Barbie if I could have. Yeah. But Barbie. I love that. And that's that's funny because that's a lot of people's answer. That Barbie is, and I say this a lot, Barbie's like the gateway doll into the doll world for a lot of people because Absolutely. she's just out there and she's so cool and she's got all the fashions and fun. Um, what made you decide to get into ball drawing and doll making? So I was a portrait artist for years mm -hmm. and I've told this story a few times, but I was looking through Pinterest for, I started making my own clay, just playing with clay and dabbling and making little critters and fun stuff, just getting away from sitting down and just drawing. And um, I was looking through Pinterest one day and I came across, and I can't pronounce her name, but it was an absolutely stunning porcelain BJB. And I had never really seen one before. And I was like, oh, that's gorgeous. Well, I found that artist, found her website. The dolls were very expensive. And I'm like, oh, I'll just make one. <laughs> and then I started researching BJDs mm -hmm. and figuring out, oh, you can change their eyes, you can add I like I told him I literally told my husband, I'm gonna make a, a ball joint doll <laughs> or an art doll. Right. And then we kind of considered it an art doll. And then I started doing a little more research on BJDs and then I said, stop. I don't want to be influenced by anyone else's doll. So I'm gonna I, I regret that now, but... <laughs> I think you should, though. Yeah, so I, I started making it. Um, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Uh, making the face out of polymer clay was probably the easiest thing for me because I was already an artist. Right. Um, engineering, it was a little difficult, but my husband's an engineer, so I'd bring stuff to him. He said, well, you've got to fix this. You've got to fix that. And I said, it needs to go forward. He goes, no, it needs to come back. So, <laughs> so uh, thank goodness I had my husband, and he's been amazing for it because it's definitely a family that's why I called it Anderson Art Dolls. That's what I was going to ask this seems like a now her seminar that she did for us was amazing and I'm going to oh, link you. that below so you guys can watch it because just watching one of the things I love about her dolls is she literally makes the entire doll like she makes it and I think it's a whole family the whole family's involved. Well I get in involved the they process. don't watch they get involved <laughs> <laughs> whether they want to or not. But it's great to have that support, so they're very supportive uh, absolutely. of this. Oh, yeah. My husband, you know, he has a very full-time job, mm -hmm. and yes, he's very supportive. They all are, but I have, my family is my entire world. Yeah. One of the things I think is so cool, and you, you say you regret not looking at other people, but I think it's so cool that you did it, because that's, your doll is so unique, and she's so cute, and she poses great. She's wonderfully poses. Um, she wonderfully po poses wonderfully. Thank you. There we go. Thank Got you. it out. And she's just... I mean, she is just precious. I love the size. She's the perfect size. She can share clothes with so many other different popular dolls. And so I think it's really cool that you, everything came out of your mind and not having that other stuff to influence you. Um, what, what kind of, what is in your mind, what is her story? Like, what do you imagine her character to be and how do you see her? So uh, what, the very first thing I decided so the doll that had influenced me the very beginning was a beautiful older you know like barbie age doll right like a mature and yeah. yeah and immediately i wanted to do a childlike doll mm -hmm. and it she can still stretch between she you know can, but yeah. my doll even though i always do girls it's very genderless uh, mm -hmm. so you know it, it can be a boy or a girl mm -hmm. but i immediately wanted to do like a childlike doll mm -hmm. but then i so i spent a long time trying to decide what size i wanted it to be and because my funds are limited, I thought, I want to find a doll that's really easy to find clothes for. So I was going to go with a Welly Wisher uh -huh. AG doll. Right. So when I made the doll, that's what it was kind of based off of that. But then in the end, I didn't like the way she sat. So I okay. changed the ball joints, which made her almost an inch taller. Now I'm like, now she's a ruby red size. <laughs> so she can wear all ruby red clothes and shoes, and she can wear a lot of Welly Wisher she stuff, can. except the pants might be a little short. And I, I've, because I've bought a few Welly Wisher. Yes, you did. Like when I go to the mall, we have an American girl in our mall, and I swing by, like, hey, do they have any new dress today? Let's see what they got. So. It fits. It, they fit. They do fit really nicely. And the ruby red too, because I took mine to BJDC in Austin wearing 
a ruby red oh. outfit. So yes, yes. Yeah. So they yeah, look, I got really excited when I saw that. <laughs> they're, they're really sweet. So that's one of the things I like that you actually considered that about collectors. Like oh yeah, they may have. So that to me makes a doll more, you know. If somebody's deciding between dolls, sometimes that comes down to that. Like, who can they share clothes with? Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. of limited funds. Yeah, and you go on Etsy and you can find, um, you know, Wally Wisher clothes, mm -hmm. um, uh, Ruby Red clothes. There's tons of artists. That's the most amazing thing about making a doll is all of the artists that come together to create it. Because this doll, this doll... Not you. They wouldn't be the same. <laughs> they wouldn't be the same without the wigs and the clothes and you know. Sorry, I, I, I felt so funny. Sorry. But, but this one's a little bare, but a little it wouldn't bare be the, for now. It wouldn't be the same. And I think that it's all the artists coming together. It's a co so your doll. Even though we didn't collaborate, it is a collaboration. It is right. And I think that's an amazing thing. It is yeah. definitely. So I know some of your dolls have human ears and some have pixie ears. Yes. So tell me like about the differentiation between those characters and the different names that you use for them and so on. Yeah, so my first creation was Ava. And um, her name came from me uh, over the past year becoming an extreme bird watcher. My daughter oh. and I did that together and now I know birds. I know every bird in my yard, and I already love animals, anyways. You know, but that's cool. To yeah. Learn. So if I'm not feeding the squirrels or the chipmunks, right. I'm figuring out what bird I just saw or bird calls. Uh huh. So we loved Ava, which means bird. Right. Like, right. Anyway, it's derived from it. So that's why we went with, with uh -huh. Ava. Then I, because I can't stop creating, so I've already got a lot of stuff. But I came up with a pixie because my very first doll was gonna be a pixie. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. In the end, it just didn't seem right, okay. and I changed it to a human. So now I've got a couple of pixies, and, and what it is is I did a pixie with smaller ears and a pixie with longer mm -hmm. ears, and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to go with, so I just kept both of them. Okay. And then my fan group, which is amazing, it is. I love my fan group. And we'll group. link that below so you guys can join if you want to join. And they named... Uh, I, I gave them some flower names, and so we named Poppy and Primrose, if you remember Aww, that. And it was, yes. yeah, and I loved those names. I loved all of them, so I would have been happy with any of them. But, yeah. And this one is a Poppy. So the, these little cat-like ears are a Poppy, and the Primrose has a longer has ear. Has a longer ear. Yeah. So because you actually make your own molds and you do all that, you've told me before that you each face is a little bit different. So how do you kind of explain that to me, like how you make them all a little bit different? So... Different being, so the MDCC seminar dolls, her, I made her just for MDCC. So her face is just a little different. I actually closed her eye up just a tiny bit. Oh, you can't cool. hardly tell, but I yeah. made her eyes just a little but smaller. A little different, and of yeah. course, I add the MDCC to the back of the her back head. The back of her head, and you can see that in my video of her. She has MDCC actually in the head cap. Yeah, I know people are asking me to sign it there, and it's like, oh, the MDCC is there, so I'm signing their bone. That's but, a great idea. Yeah, so I've been signing the little hip uh -huh. bum. So anyways, um, so that's, I just changed that one uh -huh. for so it would be special. Uh -huh. I made 20, and that was it. I don't even have one. And we, the molds blew out after 20 yeah, anyway, so right. we were done. But when I talk about them being one of a kind, mm -hmm. except for the 20 that I made exactly right, alike, right. we mix every batch of resin per doll. Oh, wow. So even though I love to come up with names for resin right they're not all the same they're so not, right your doll might be vanilla spice and your doll might be vanilla spice but they may not be the exact same vanilla so and, spice. I, in, in the bjd world i have found because most people do get them cast somewhere where they are the same right uh people are like oh well that's and i said i know i know <laughs> but I, think, I already know <laughs> i think that people i know for me that's something that I absolutely love about your dolls is because oh, they you. are all hand done you know with your family in your studio and it's like everyone legitimately is one of a kind because and you're also you know finishing them all and doing the face-ups and gosh it's just incredible to me yeah it's a labor of love um, we I've just created an 18 inch doll is it's it okay cool. to go on to that one? Yeah, it all has. <laughs> so I just created an 18-inch doll, and I literally created that doll because I wanted it to fit into the AG Harry mm -hmm. Potter stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not a seamstress, but I really wanted my dolls to have a Harry Potter outfit because I had yeah. just a Potter head. Right. And so we created this doll. My husband, who is a genius, my family, 
my family's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Aww. So um, he manipulated the mold, mm -hmm. and now I have an 18-inch doll. That's but awesome. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. No, I get it. Um, so we actually had this question because we were talking about it. Because you have the 3D, the little 3D printed ones. Yes. How did you guys go from the molds that you have? How did you get those into the computer? Did you like re sculpt the whole doll on the computer? Or were you able to scan into the computer? So, um, so early on, mm -hmm. so this is kind of how it started with the computer stuff. Mm -hmm. Early on, I would, when I was sculpting their hands, mm -hmm. my husband heard me say, my husband heard me say, ah, oh, I love how I sculpt this hand, but I can't sculpt the other one. I want, and I wanted their hands to be the same. Right. I know it's like, you know, right. I have different hands, but I wanted them to be the same. Yeah. But I loved one hand I sculpted, and I hated the, uh, how the right. other one looked. And he said, well, you know we could scan it and just mirror it. And I'm like, what? Right. <laughs> no. So I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah. He said, let's get a scanner. We'll scan it. We'll mirror it. And then we'll print it. And then I'm like, okay. okay. Well, we waited for that scanner to come in, and that's exactly what he did. Then he did it with feet. Then he did it with the legs. So they're mirrored. Nice. And then eventually... For my pixies and my mm -hmm. sages, we mirrored the face. Right. You know, and so like symmetric, yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. So my very first limited edition of fifty dolls are the faces are not mirrored. So they're my original oh, hand wow. sculpt, and so they're pretty special. Yeah. Um, the other ones. I can't help it. I love them being symmetrical. Right. I, you, know? you know, I've heard a lot of artists say that, that that's one of the huge advantages to the three D, like. To the technology that we have available today, is that you can get more of that symmetry right. using that. And I oh, so many it's of wonderful. Like that. We literally just scan it, mm -hmm. and they digitally. I don't know. I don't do that stuff. I can barely use my iPhone. But they put it into the computer, mm -hmm. and my husband and my son, who went to school for graphic design, mm -hmm. and so they did all that those things for me. Even though everything originally was hand sculpted from right. polymer clay, right. which polymer clay is not the easiest clay to no, work it's with, definitely not. but it was great for me working full time. You know, right. I pop in the oven, and then I can mm -hmm. fix the part, and I pop in the oven. You know, instead of mm -hmm. waiting twenty four hours for it to dry right. or whatever, right. what have you. So this little one, this particular little pixie. So this is exactly these bodies just, just down scaled, scaled like a hundred and seventy percent okay and but my a my 18 inch Ava uh -huh. is she has been manipulated digitally because I wanted her to fit into AG stuff right so the feet are much smaller than they would be so our 18 inch oh. Ava would be much taller and she wouldn't be 18 inch right if we just scaled you it. scaled her up and yeah. so I would sit by the computer and I would just point to the screen where I wanted to go because I don't know how to use it but my husband would just he could help yeah yeah and so he helped me completely manipulate and do that doll and in the end it's um, the prototypes at home waiting for me now. That's so I can't, amazing. I mean, well, the sample. Right. So right. I can't wait to see it because I've, I've never seen it in right. resin. Right. It's all, I've only seen it in, um, you know, printed. The printed Printed one. resin. Yeah. Which is still really pretty. It makes for yeah. really pretty stuff. She is gorgeous. Like, your 3D prints are really Thanks. amazing. Thank you. Because we'll talk about the big ones in a second. <laughs> but even the 18-inch one, like, when I went to, like, pick her up, she's in the sales room, pick her up and play with her, and she's like... She's amazing. I mean, they're all amazing. Yeah. So do tell me, tell me now about the really big ones. So, so my husband, again, he absolutely loves playing on the computer. He loves a challenge. So just one day I was like, oh man, now I kind of wish I'd made my dolls 18 inch so that they were the Harry Potter clothes. Right. I go back to Harry Potter because yes. it's just a huge thing in yeah. our family. Right. Um, and he's like, well, we can, we can make one fit it. And I'm like, that would take me, I'm like. Three years. Right. Three years to sculpt Sculpting. this. <laughs> right. Some right. people might be much quicker, but it's also working full time. Right. You know? So it's anyways, he's like right. literally a couple of weeks we had it. That's awesome. Now we're, we are still, you know, bobbing along mm -hmm. and we made his head remo removable. removable. Uh -huh. We just made the little thing and mm -hmm. thing. That was amazing. <laughs> Making his head come off. But uh, yeah, so one day he's, I said, we should make a giant <laughs> Ava. And he's like, well, how big do you want to make it? Let's do it. <laughs> and he was on it. And we we had to make it the 18-inch, you know. So we yeah. used the 18-inch size. And then we scaled that one And up. then we, we, so the big Ava is scaled up 180-something wow. percent. This one's scaled down like 170%. Wow. So it's crazy, but he just puts those in there. And, and he just I'm plays like, with it. So the first one we made, the big Ava, yeah. the head was just enormous. And <laughs> wigs wouldn't 
no, you you know, get human. Away, right? And the head was like, I'm like, okay. It's like a blithe head. <laughs> right. So what we do first is we also have a filament printer. Okay. And so the fil we do on the filament printer so we don't waste resin. Right, yeah. The filament mm -hmm. printer, we do the size on it and we get the size. So when we saw this giant, I'm like, okay, we have to scale it down some because I think he had it like 300%. It was oh, wow. insane. Wow. Um, yeah, I still have that head at home. <laughs> but anyway, so we scaled it way down. Mm -hmm. Then we scaled it back up. So we after about four filament printers later, we printed it in resin. Oh wow! Yeah, and it took just the head alone. I think the head and the head cap alone was forty hours wow. to just print the head. Print so it resin. took yeah. a few weeks to print the whole thing. thing. And I yeah. would post each time, look at the ball right. joints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was super fun. And then I he told me that she would probably be about. He said, I don't know, maybe, I don't know kid sizes, but yeah, yeah he, it would probably be about this size. And I'm like, oh, that's like a zero to three. Yeah. So, of course, without even waiting, I go out and buy a bunch of oh. zero to three clothes. Right. Well, they were all way too small because she wears a 2T. Okay, okay. So then he's like, well, I'll make you one to fit those clothes. That's how little that's Sage how came. That's how for a big Sage. Right. So, and so I just went ahead and brought both of them with me because they were so dang cute. They're so cute. I took my picture standing beside one of them. Holding, holding the hand. Oh, did you? Somebody was seen. <laughs> somebody yeah. commented on it and said, "Allison, I know you're short, but that doll <laughs> looks huge." And I was like, "Yeah, she yeah, is. it probably dwarfed you." She's so cool. But the little one, the smaller one, is a sage face, mm -hmm. and the big one is an Ava face. Ava face, gotcha. Yeah. And I, what I, I love that you just have that support at home. Like I have a support yeah, at home too. So it's like, yes, you do. I know, I know how you feel yeah. like having like somebody that supports your passions and do and and whatever you do in life. And the, I think your husband sounds like he just loves to tinker with, with my stuff. Well, he loves, loves to work. Mm -hmm. Now, he just went on a business trip to China, and he was thrilled to go. He was just like, I'm going to get a break. <laughs> I was like, a break from well, this is going to be a break stuff. because that meant he wants to go to work just to get a break because at home I'm like, babe, I need this, I need this, right, I need this. And right. Can we go up to the computer? And so, that's but funny. don't even get me started on my daughter that's here with me today. Oh, yeah. oh my God. So I don't want to get emotional about her, but <laughs> she is just... She's like a little spider monkey. Oh, it's under the table. She's it's up in the room. It's a, but she's just this. You couldn't meet a sweet person. So we have a joke about that here at Modern Doll. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, who's behind the camera, are you the spider she, monkey? She helps me with everything. <laughs> If I didn't have her, it's like that. I don't know where my purse is. Well, it's over there. I don't know where my U.S. Well, it's over there. And I and the joke is everybody needs a Lindsay. So oh, so Jessica's so, my Lindsay. So Jessica is your Lindsay. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. She's my Lindsay. Because sometimes you know you just need that person. Yes. You know, and it just it wouldn't be the same without no, that person you, there. You, you don't even know. Do you, it. Yeah, you don't even know if you could do it. Right. I know. You I know. could. As soon as I got down to the room, where are the pixies? Exactly. They're in the room. <laughs> All right, Jess. Pew. Uh, someone wants to check out. Well, I don't know how to use that little machine. <laughs> I, I am very artistic. Right. Period. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm very technically challenged. I'm just. I'm just very scared. And she's a brainiac. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. She's definitely got a brain waves from and her she's, dad. She's very sweet. Like we've been talking she's, to her while we've been here too. So. Oh good. Um. So what can we expect from Anderson Art Dolls in the future? Well. The minute I get home, I have a prototype. No, it's not a prototype. It's a sample waiting yeah. for me. I've obviously never seen my dolls cast by someone else. Mm -hmm. It's a factory that I learned about from Allison's channel. Uh, so, and it sounded great. Then I contacted the artist. Uh -huh. She was absolutely wonderful. Aww. Ace of Doll. Is it Ace of Oh, Doll? yes, Ace of Dolls. Yeah. Yes, sweetest thing. So, everybody has been so wonderful. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we talked for a little while, mm -hmm. and then I contacted them. They've been wonderful so far. I tried to get my husband to go visit, him while, he, visit while they were in China, oh, but yeah. it was nowhere near yeah. them. But, um, so, I will definitely, so, because I can't produce them that even fast remotely enough. fast right. enough, right. I mean, just to even create the waiting list I have right now mm -hmm. would probably be a year out for yeah. me. Um, maybe more, because it took me four months to make my seminar dolls. Right. And what what we we in the community we don't want you to get burnt out, and that's that's oh, right, right. Things. Like we're always like, you know, whatever it takes. Don't just you know. Yeah. We want the dolls, but don't burn yourself out. But you know, we want you to stick around for years I and years. I thought everyone made their dolls. I had no idea they sent them to a casting company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I might have done that to begin with. But no, I immediately started learning how to mold and cast. Yeah. Like that was the first thing. So see if I had looked at a little more into it or figured things out, I might have known that. So, but now I know how to mold and cast everything. Well, I think it's more special and. Thank you. And like, 
Because I love... But I didn't mean to be. I, well, I love an artist cast doll, but I also think probably you going through that process has taught you so much about doll making. You know, it's... We have this thing at work where, like, we have this software that does something for us, and none of us had that software when we started the job. Like, we feel like we know way more about it than the new people who just use the software. I know that's probably hard to... Oh, no, but, I get it. But it's... I think you probably learn so much going through that process, and, like, mm -hmm. you really know every, like, tiny little square centimeter of a doll. Oh, so. yes. And that video I showed that was condensed mm -hmm. into 30 minutes, so it was originally 10... We couldn't put that much on her phone. I sent her five mm -hmm. hours. Hours. And she condensed it into 30. Because like I said, she's like right. just... A, so she put together she my entire all. video. Mm -hmm. And then when we did the voiceover, uh -huh. which, you know, no one can stand to hear their voice. It was I've horrible. gotten used to mine. <laughs> it was horrific for me doing the voiceover. And then here, I'm like, is that what I sound like? Aww. So that was... My contribution was, I mean, aside from the initial right. footage, and you did the voiceover, doing the voiceover, uh -huh. she put together the little bit of video yeah. for me, and she's like, do you want me to add a butterfly here? And I'm like, yes! Yeah, <laughs> so, why not? Yeah, so it was, we had so much fun doing That's that. Awesome. We had a blast doing that together. Well, we really loved having you here. I think it was, it was great. You have no idea how much I appreciate and it. And so many people just have, I've had so many people come to me and tell me how much they enjoyed your seminar, and they've Aww. enjoyed meeting you, and how much they love your doll, and I'm like, mm -hmm. they're awesome. Yeah, like, Thank so I, I think it's great. Right. Is there anything else I haven't asked you that you want people to know about your dolls or you? Well, I'll continue making my 15-inch dolls. As soon as I get home, I will start, because literally we've blown out all the molds. Yeah. And we've done really well here, which... That's great. And I've had so many people messaging me from home, and I haven't had time to even get on. Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, I feel so, <laughs> you feel so bad, and you're just like, oh, i got to get back. Now it's two days later. Right. Oh. So as soon Thank as I get right. home, we will start making remaking our molds because we'll never stop making them now that we make them at home right right and like i say i've got everyone at home on board so i'm all right. set exactly and then i will definitely you know depending on how this sample looks when i get home mm -hmm. we will see what we're going to go from yeah. there because i'm like okay so i've got like a hundred people wanting pixies mm -hmm. so wow. is that what i send him next you right. know yeah so because i was determined to do my pixies from only my pixies from right. home right but i just i don't want someone waiting like a year well that's, for a doll. That, that's what's nice <laughs> is that you're like willing to you know yeah if you guys want a doll faster here's what we can do to do that right so. and i love designing mm -hmm. like i said i've got so many things going I just can't seem to stop. And I didn't, I only started selling in November. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to already have four sculpts by now. Right. So, but that's just a thing, an artist thing. You're yeah. just like, oh, you know what I need to do? Yeah. <laughs> this one needs to have horns. <laughs> so, yeah, artists, you can't, you can't slow them down. Even, I'm 55, and you can't, like, I wished I was younger. I wish I'd done this younger, you know. But, well, we're glad you did it now, and we hope you. that you're around for many, many more years because your dolls, your very first doll is just amazing. Thank so you it's, so much. Just to see Allison where you did my unboxing. Here. That's the only reason I have. No, it's true. Allison did an <laughs> unboxing of my doll, which all of you have already seen, and the exposure from that, which I had been watching you for years, so I was like, oh, as soon as I make a doll, I'm sending it to <laughs> Allison to unbox. Was, and so I sent her a doll. She so graciously unboxed it, and the review was insane. I mean, the doll And really now nice. my dolls sell out in, like, minutes after. I had an eight-minute sellout. Well, here's the thing. Your doll is amazing. That's okay. why your doll sells. Thank what you. I think my role in that is people can't buy what they don't know about. So right. I right. have the, uh, you know, but the I exposure have the amazing. eyeballs that can say, oh, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's why they, but they come to Allison me. is amazing. Everybody adores her. Everybody idolizes <laughs> her. Everybody has, everybody has their celebrities that they love. Allison is in my home. Oh. Everyone knows Allison. <laughs> you know, she is like, I say Allison. They know who I'm talking about. Because, oh. you know, we just idolize her. And I was following you while I was making my... You started started messaging on I Instagram was watching about, you about BJ yeah, while I was yeah. making it. Mm -hmm. And even in the background while I'm working at home, I'll have yours and Sh uh, Shira's. Shira's. I'll yeah. have her videos uh -huh. playing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like having a friend in the room with you. It's awesome. And it's. I think it's like a feeling of home. Yeah. You know, Aww. so that's. I'll stick those on there and you two will just play stuff. And I think I've seen your celebration one like 10 times now, or I've heard it. Because <laughs> so, you know, they'll just. Play. Maybe I should just turn them into podcasts. No, it's wonderful. I've heard, I've heard wonderful. people say that, like, they listen to it like a podcast. I'm like, maybe I should just start ripping my audio for podcasts. But yeah. it's one. She should. She should do whatever. Anyway. She would do well. 
Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time. Give me a big hug oh. because I just love you and I love your dolls. Thank you. Well, you know we love you. We all, but everybody here loves Allison. Everybody loves Allison. And Lindsay. <laughs> and Lindsay. <behind laughs> and Lindsay. The <laughs> so, anyway, thank you so much again thank you so for much doing for this. Me. Guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye. 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 I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Fair Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Shorna R, Stephanie W, Shalane C, Penny P, Louisa's Knit Knacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!